Champ, I'm excited for this one, and you're cracking a wry smile. I know you are, too. This is a kickboxer of the highest order, and he's made no bones about it. He believes that if this fight is contested on the feet, he's going to wax this guy up. He's going to get the job done. He has 100% confidence that if they're standing, he's back. And why would he not? He is one of those kickboxers that is on the level of Edesanya, Pareda, and Alistair Overeem. He sits amongst the best to come from that sport and apply it to mixed martial arts. He's got a well-rounded skill set outside of kickboxing. The kickboxing is what makes him special. Yeah, it was interesting to hear Alex Pineda, the middleweight champion, praise him recently, sort of unsolicitedly. So needless to say, the eyes of the sport are fixed upon this kickboxer here tonight. this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> For this one. Ready. Ready. All right, so we get another look here early in this round at the Southpaw Dominic Reyes. Certainly a victim of expectations at times in his UFC career. Many believe skill for skill, he has everything you would need to become a UFC champion. And if he can pass this test here tonight, which should test him in all phases of mixed martial arts, many believe that second title shot that has eluded him to this point could come down the pipe. That's a big right hand from Dominic Reyes. We talked so much about his kicks. Don't sleep on those hands. Don't sleep on the hands. He put Chris Wyman out with his hands. Chris Wyman's one of the greatest middleweights of all time. And Dominic Reyes got him out of there in one round. Fast leg kick lands. That's beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge and reach. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. All right, early action here. A nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fun. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer. And the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight, you just pivot with the hook. It lands around that guard, and he does a lot of damage with it. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No peeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, 
Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. You see it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Dominic Reyes. Oh, he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's doing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, rips the body shot there. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Nice move with punch. Just over two minutes now to go. Reyes gets caught by that straight hand. Circling away towards the left now. A right punch followed by a left there by Reyes. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, another beautiful combination there, DC. If this is not his best striking performance in the UFC, I'm not sure what was. We've never seen him look so good. And confidence starts the combination. Combinations come from confidence in believing that all the reps that you have done in the gym is going to show itself when the octagon door closes. Tonight it has been just that for this fighter. What a beautiful jab landing there. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Clean punch. One minute to go in the last. <laughs> Lead kick landed there by Choi. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Missed with that attempt. 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, misses with the jab. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching a film on this. It's a master class. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, huh. and ending your combination with the kick. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Exactly like the play. Teaching the strikes. Listen. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure. But he's trying to walk forward with no head movement. And he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Nice leg kick. How about the power behind that kick from Dominic Reyes? Kicks like a mule. A-level athlete, a former football player, guy that thought he would be in the NFL, but now he finds himself as one of the best performers in the UFC. Oh, that one landed, yep. He lands a nasty high kick up 
top. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Chor. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to really hurt him. Just over three minutes to go. Huge block there. Nice crack there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Knows is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, there's a sharp lead hook by the Korean Super Bowl. Clipped him with the jab. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Once you get to take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Take that wins around. Shot is blocked there by Choi. Reyes is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Choi is now dealing with a cheat cut. Just misses with the right. Oh, single collar tie here. That high kick can get you spinning. Great landing. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice straight there by Chor. Seconds winding down in round two. So the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. 
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Oh, lands a nice straight. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Johnny burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising, courtesy of those body strikes. Those big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. That was a nice combination there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Choi swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Choi. Good series of strikes by him. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice jab by Choi. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Lands a nice leg kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Distance management, one-on-one, another punch lands. Choi's really taking aim at that cut right now. Hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. That's a great job setting up that high kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice combination there. Reyes' eye is closing up. Oh. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Now some separation. 
Reyes' oh. cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Throws the team now, and it lands. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Reyes gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. resistance he continues to find a home for that jab much like he did in the previous round he closes the distance beautifully he's got a single collar tie straight right is there reyes's cut is getting worse here man is that bleeding great job landing that body kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Rips the body there. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Slips to avoid that left. Left hook counters there yet again. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. Go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Oh, nice right hand. Two minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, big punch land. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice punch to the head. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Back to the overhand now. That one's good. Right on the button. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well 
until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Great block there. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. It's in the can, five to go. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, we're going to get back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Nice defense there. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, nice straight left. Big shot there for both guys. Well, oftentimes when you see damage like this, Things are critical. We don't always see a referee calling a doctor for body strikes, but maybe this would be a case to call him. This is one of those situations where something abnormal is going to feel pretty good. We don't see it very often. This is one of those times where doctor needs to come in and check this guy out. Nice kick landed there by Choi. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Reyes is continuing to attack that area. He's trying to make his opponent's eye swell completely shut. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice leg kick there by Reyes. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Another one. Just out of range with the straight left hand. him with the straight hand there, beautifully done by Short. Oh, you can hear the crowd as yet another calf kick lands. Pretty swollen now. Well, he's at a point now where even if he checks it, it still is very damaging. He waited too long to address that attack. Both fighters throwing heat now. The Korean Superboy gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Now he lands a solid punch. His nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Whiffs on the right hand. Beautiful leg kick lands. While this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie, I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. 
you don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Down the stretch will come, final round, and what a fight, what a performance on both sides. They'll be feeling it tomorrow, but unbelievable will and fortitude. Like I mean, this is what we as fight fans love, to see two fighters out there battered and bruised, bloody, have been in an absolute war, but neither of them willing to take a step back and give up. I don't know who's going to win this fight, but I do know I am very happy that I was able to call it. Oh, got that head kick home. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, found the home for that left hand. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Big power shot there. Reyes is an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. The ladies official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll 